Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a series compensation that is by using series capacitor. Basically, series capacitor is used to avoid the problem of an under voltage. We can change the impedance of the transmission line by a series capacitor. So the reactive impedance of the line reduces and therefore the voltage drop in the line can be reduced along with improvement in the end voltage. Series capacitor that is the capacitor which is connected in series with the line conductors are used to reduce the inductive reactance between the supply point and the load. The series capacitors compensate the reactance voltage drop in the line by reducing the net reactance. Now as the effective impedance of the transmission line can be reduced the problem of over voltage can be reduced with the help of series capacitor. Therefore, for the leading loads, the voltage rise between sending and the receiving end will also be reduced. Now the main purpose of the series compensation is to cancel the part of the series inductive reactance of the line using a series capacitor. The main purpose of the series compensation in the power system is to reduce the reactive impedance of the transmission line to reduce the voltage drop over long distances and to reduce the Ferranti effect. Now let's have a look for this diagram. Here if you see the V1 is nothing but sending end voltage, V2 is nothing but receiving end voltage, Ps plus Zqs will be sending end active and the reactive power component, I is the current which will flow from sending end to receiving end. R plus Z XL, R is the resistance and XL is nothing but inductive reactance of the transmission line which is connected from sending end to receiving end. And P load plus Z Q load is the active and the reactive power component of the load. Here this is the diagram with no series capacitor connected. So therefore the approximate voltage drop for a short transmission line is given by. Now how we can write? V1 minus V2. V1 is the sending end voltage, V2 is the receiving end voltage equal to I into R cos phi 2 plus XL sin phi 2 where R is the resistance of the line, XL is the inductive reactance of the line. Now let us consider uh, the capacitor C or you can say JXC minus JXC is added in a series with this R plus JXL. Now what happens because of this? We can write the equation as, now here if you see the receiving end voltage here it is represented by V2 star. So how I can write the direction of the or how I can write equation? Delta V2 will be equal to V1 minus V2 star which will be equal to I R cos phi 2 plus XL minus XC sin phi 2. This is uh, equation number 2. Now what we will do? we will subtract equation number 1 from equation number 2. So this is what is your left hand side. So here I have written V1 minus V2 star minus this is the left, left hand side of your equation number 1 V1 minus V2 which will be equal to now if you subtract uh, right hand side then IR cos phi 2 will be 0 and you will get here minus IXC sin phi 2. You just substitute you will be able to get this answer. Now this V1 and this V1 will cancel out with each other. This will be your minus V2 star minus V2 star and this minus minus becomes plus so it will be plus V2. That's why here I have written like this V2 minus V2 star. So what we will get here V2 minus V2 star equal to minus I XC sin phi 2. Now I can write this as I will shift this V2 star here to this side. I will shift this right hand side term to the left hand side. So what I will get V2 star will be equal to V2 plus I XC sin phi 2. So here it is observed that V2 star is greater than V2. What is the meaning of V2 star? It is the receiving end voltage when we have added here a capacitor and V2 is the receiving end voltage when we don't have a series capacitor into the system. Therefore here if you see by connecting a capacitor in series with the line, the receiving end voltage is going to be increased. Now let's have a look for the advantages of series capacitor. 
the first important point is nothing but increase in the transmission line capacity now we know that what is the power transfer capability of the line or power transfer capacity equation p equal to e into v upon x into sin delta so therefore here e is the sending end voltage v is the receiving end voltage x is the reactance of the line and delta is the phase angle between e and v now whenever there is no compensation then i can write this equation as p1 will be equal to e into v upon xl into sin delta now when i take here a series compensation then it will be what xl minus xc so that's why equation is p2 equal to ev upon xl minus xc into sin delta so previous equation you take it as a equation number 1 i will write it here as again p1 will be equal to what ev upon xl into sin delta this was the equation you can take equation 1 which was there in the previous slide you take this as a equation number 2 so if i take a ratio of equation 2 to the equation 1 then what i will get is p2 upon p1 equal to xl upon xl minus xc now divide here by xl divide numerator by xl denominator by xl so you will get here 1 upon 1 minus xc upon xl so what we will get here 1 upon 1 minus k where k is nothing but degree of compensation now the economic degree of compensation will lie in between 40 to 70% that is k is always less than 1 it will be in between 0.4 to 0.7 it should not be equal to 1 or it should not be more than 80% we should not do a compensation with the help of series capacitor more than 80% otherwise it will create a problem that problem is nothing but sub synchronous resonance so let's say i will draw here what happens because of that i will draw a curve this is your load angle delta this will be your pe so this is your first curve i will draw this first curve and i will draw this as a second curve now this second curve here we will obtain when k equal to 0% now when we take here k equal to 0 what we will get p2 will be equal to p1 because P2 upon P1 will be equal to 1 by 1. So P2 will be equal to what? P1. And here, when I take k equal to 50%, then what I will get? K equal to 50% means you take here k equal to 0.5. So 1 upon 1 minus 0.5. What it will be? 1 by 2. So how I can write? P2 will be equal to 1 by 2 into P1. P2 will be equal to what? 1 by 2 into P1. So here it is observed that. here in this direction there will be increased in the compensation there will be increase in the compensation so by connecting capacitor in the series it improves the maximum power transfer capacity of the line you can take any value and you can prove that here this is your pmax 2 uh, i can say this is your pmax 1 so pmax 2 you can take this is a pmax 2 this will be your pmax 1 so what you observe there will be a reduction in the uh, uh, xc value there will be reduction in this value xl minus xc effective uh, reactance will be reduced so as effective reactance will be reduced what happens here there will be increased in the uh, power which is called as a p2 so lesser the xl minus xc more will be the p2 so that's why power transfer capability of the line will be what it will be improved now Uh, the next is improvement of the power system stability now how we can write how we can write p equal to ev upon xl sin delta 1 here let us take uh, no series capacitor has been connected so that's why here we have taken only xl with the load angle as a delta 1 let us say uh, p will be equal to ev upon xl minus xc sin delta 2 what is the meaning of this let's say here we have connected a capacitor in the series with the line and therefore there is a change in the load angle let's say delta so therefore how i can write i can write it as suppose if i take a ratio sin delta 2 upon sin delta 1 then it will be what xl minus xc upon xl so for the same amount of the power transfer here i have not taken p1 and the p2 here let's say same amount of the power transfer and if we have a same value of e and v let us assume that Uh, p e v are a constant so uh, we can take a value here xl equal to suppose 0.5 xc equal to let's say minus j 0.3 
so if we substitute the uh, here if these values in the formula of the p and if we calculate both the values of the delta then it will be clear for us so therefore please remember that it has been observed that the delta in case of the series compensated line is less than that of the uncompensated line it is always less than that of uncompensated line so reduction in the delta allows a rotor to operate at a lower angle delta with increase in the stability limit so please remember lower the delta means better will be the system stability series compensation will offer the most economic solution for a system stability so these are the advantages of a series capacitor thank you for watching this video